The dumbbell bench press is one of the most popular exercises used for training the chest muscle, also known as the pectoralis major. But you will often hear people saying that they actually don't feel that chest muscles working that much during a bench press. Maybe you feel your shoulders or triceps getting fatigued, but for some reason the chest does not get the proper stimulation. That will change after you watch today's video. You see, the dumbbell bench press is one of those exercises where details matter. Your grip, elbow positioning and range of motion all impact your ability to engage the chest. In today's video, I will help you correct 4 common form mistakes with the dumbbell bench press that are holding back your chest gains. The first mistake is related to your posture while doing the bench press. Just in everyday life, many people maintain a seat posture in which they are hunched forward most of the time. It is common for this posture to then also translate into your bench press in which you maintain tense shoulders during the press. But if we look at the chest muscle itself, when your shoulders are hunched forward, it is difficult to fully stretch the chest muscles. Only once you open up your chest, you can create a good stretch in the pecs. So while performing the bench press, focus on keeping your chest up. Now bring the dumbbells all the way up and bring them back down towards your pecs while maintaining that upright chest posture. As you press the weight up, it may become tempting to start rounding the shoulders forward again at the top part of the movement. But avoid this from happening since this will take away tension from your chest and place it on your front deltoids. This same principle will apply to a barbell bench as well. Keep the chest up to better stretch the chest and also place less stress on the shoulder muscles. The second mistake is related to your elbow positioning during the dumbbell bench press. A common pressing mistake is keeping your elbows flared, but to optimally train the chest we want the elbows to be slightly tucked. A large portion of your pec muscle fibers run diagonally up, so to best align the resistance of the dumbbells with your chest muscles, it also makes sense to press the weight up in a diagonal fashion, which involves keeping the elbows slightly tucked. Focus on bringing the dumbbells towards your lower chest with the elbows tucked and press the weight back up over your upper chest area. This is known as maintaining a J-curve pressing path. Not only will this better engage your chest, but you also avoid potential shoulder issues. Because keeping the elbows flared during a dumbbell bench press puts the shoulder in a more tight position, which places more stress on your rotator cuffs. Again, this same principle would apply to the barbell bench press as well. Avoid flaring your arms by keeping the elbows slightly tucked and maintaining a J-curved bar path. Now the third mistake is a common one as well, and that is to tap the dumbbells at the top position of a bench press. The main function of your pectoralis major is to horizontally adduct the shoulder. So you may be tempted to bring the dumbbells together at the top portion of a dumbbell bench press in the hopes of fully contracting those chest muscles. However, in this top position of the dumbbell bench press, the resistance on your chest is minimal. In fact, the resistance on the chest is the highest during a dumbbell bench press during the stretch position. Recent research also indicates that the most important part of the lift for muscle growth is when the muscle is fully stretched and under load. So place your focus on fully stretching the chest on your way down, and when you press up, bring the dumbbells close together but prevent the dumbbells from actually tapping to keep constant tension on the chest muscle. The fourth and final mistake with the dumbbell bench press is performing the dumbbell press in very low rep ranges. Because of the setup involved with the dumbbell bench press, the dumbbell bench press is less suited towards powerlifting type training. If you want to perform a 1 rep max or even 3 rep max during a dumbbell bench press, you're going to lose a lot of energy during the setup of the movement. Not to mention that training in such low rep ranges is not that effective for chest stimulation in the first place. One 2017 study found that as you get closer to your 1 rep max on the bench press, the chest muscles are less involved while the front deltoids tend to mostly take over. The same research paper found that the chest muscles were most activated when they were trained with 70 to 90% of your 1 rep max, which can be considered something like a 4 to 12 rep range. I know it may look cool to pick up the heaviest dumbbells and perform just 1-2 to two heavy repetitions, but it's actually more beneficial for pectoral development if you train the chest with at least 4 repetitions per set, so consider this in your training. Now, when it comes to today's video, you may have noticed that I mostly spoke about a dumbbell bench press when it comes to stimulating your chest through a press. This is because with a dumbbell bench press, you're able to tweak your form a bit more than with a barbell bench. Put simply, with a dumbbell bench press, you have more freedom of movement, while with a barbell bench press, you have to adapt to the shape of the bar. However, both exercises are effective for chest stimulation. If we look at muscle activation research that compares these two exercises, the dumbbell and barbell bench press were found to be similarly effective for pec stimulation. So if you prefer barbell benching for the chest, that's possible too. Just consider some of the tips discussed in today's video. Like maintaining tucked elbows, keeping your chest up, and training mostly within the 4-12 to 12 rep range. And lastly, as a bonus tip, when it comes to bench pressing for chest development, the triceps are often seen as an enemy. 
Some people claim that their triceps are becoming overactive in the bench press. But having strong triceps is actually helpful for chest training. Your triceps work synergistically with your chest in a bench press. Strong triceps directly contribute to your chest training by allowing you to overload the pectoral muscles with more weight. This is supported by research as well. In one study, training the bench press and skull crushers was found to produce better chest muscle growth compared to only training the bench press over a 10-week training period. This likely is because having stronger triceps allowed the participants to bench press more weight, which also allowed them to impose greater demands on the chest muscles, resulting in greater chest muscle development. So a good focus on tricep strengthening next to the bench press will therefore help you also boost chest gains. And that was all for today's video. I hope you now have a better understanding on how we can better engage the chest muscles during a bench press. As usual, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Also, if you found this video helpful, then leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And I will see you in the next one.